without knowing the pelvic spaces without knowing what are the spaces in the pelvis it is not good to perform hysterectomy or radical hysterectomy or broad ligament myomectomy or endometriosis surgery what are those spaces spaces are avascular spaces those are potential areolar tissue and which need to be dissected in the laparoscopy and all the spaces are important to remember and that is called predictive anatomy in laparoscopy predictive anatomy is very important means before you reach to the anatomy in your mind the prediction should be there remember because our eye can only see the structure which our brain knows am i right if our brain doesn't know anything i will not see that so this is very important to know how to drive in the pelvic spaces now all the spaces i will show you first we will discuss about the medial space after that i will discuss about the lateral space most important medial space which is there is called retropubic space what is retropubic or you can also tell it prevesical space either retropubic or prevesical this is in between the pubic symphysis and bladder also called as space of regius yes and this space is very important for which surgery if you are performing birth suspension or if you are performing the prostatectomy the urologists they do radical prostatectomy or you are performing any endometriosis severe bladder endometriosis then it is important that is called space of regius second is vesco vaginal space this space is in between the bladder and vagina that is must open in cases of hysterectomy and hysterectomy you are only opening 1 2 cm but in the radical hysterectomy upper 3 cm of the vagina should be completely separated from bladder so at least 4 cm you have to separate because remaining 1 cm is required to close the vault because if you don't have a vaginal edges how you will take a bite so this is very important in the tlh radical hysterectomy vesco vaginal fistula that is called vesco vaginal space after that it is in between rectum and cervix that is called recto vaginal space and already we know that that this retro pubic and vesco vaginal space has a boundary lateral boundary is what medial umbilical ligament so this is medial umbilical ligament am i right all of which we know that bladder is in between the two medial that's why it's called medial space so retro pubic vesco vaginal and this is recto vaginal recto vaginal is also called pouch of douglas that is recto vaginal and then retro rectal retro rectal is also called that presacral this is also called presacral and this is used for which surgery presacral neurectomy or rectal endometriosis or surgeons they use it for rectal prolapse to put mesh posterior rectopexy or in cases of low anterior resection to for the rectal cancer to or you will use for rectal endometriosis this area is very important now again we will see here that this is the pubic symphysis this is the space of radius this is the is medial here this is the vesco vaginal space which is uh, for hysterectomy and this is the recto vaginal space can you see that this is pouch of douglas this is rectum and this is which space uh, or presacral so just remember these are all we have discussed medial space now coming to lateral space here is the cardinal ligament and lateral to cardinal ligament here in the lower part the uterine vessels are going now above the uterine or above the cardinal these all are called paravesical why it is called paravesical because it is lateral to the bladder and below it is called this is called pararectal space because it is lateral to rectum now pararectal space here is the ureter and para rectal space is divided into two one is called latjo space this is called latjo k is silent latjo para rectal space 
and medially it is called oka biasi pararectal space this one this is oka biasi do you know why oka biasi is important that whenever you do any surgery either you do radical hysterectomy or endometriosis surgery you should try to avoid the this oka biasi space using any energy otherwise what will happen that patient the heat has a nerve those nerves are hypogastric nerve plexuses and if those plexus is get injured patient will have dryness of the vagina and constipation here you can see what is this ureter so what is this space oka biasi what is this space latjo and above the uterine what is this space paravesical and all this is what a space pararectal so and these are the medial already we have discussed space of regius so this vesco vaginal and pouch of douglas and presacral so these are the spaces and most important to remember in the posterior space that is oka biasi and the latjo that should not be damaged this patient is a multiple myoma 45 year old patient but patient has a hypothyroidism hypertension and diabetes and there was a stent applied in the heart few year ago so vasopressin is contraindicated now here uterine artery ligation will be performed how to ligate uterine artery we will see that this is round ligament this is ip ligament and this is iliac vessel so just parallel to the round ligament in between iliac vessel and ip ligament remember ip ligament should not be cut in between iliac vessel and ip ligament you will open the peritoneum here and once you will open the peritoneum in this area then bluntly you will go down and as soon as you will go 2 to 3 cm below you will see ureter this is right side and right side ureter is more lateral because right side of ureter is crossing external iliac vessel so ureter is here ureter is the only structure which crosses the iliac vessel at right angle there is no structure and ureter is the most medial structure either side and here is the ureter and this is what external iliac artery and medially will be external iliac vein so this space is what a space latjo space and this space is what a space oka biasi space so what is the problem here that if you will do the lateralization if you will push it lateral accidentally you can overshoot and you can hit the iliac vein external iliac vein and remember vein is very easy to puncture artery can resist some another if you will do lateralization then another problem what will happen that we will damage the mesentery of ureter and we can damage the the nerves so you will do the medialization of ureter remember right and left medialization is different don't confuse on the right and left don't do that medialization process of medialization is important because if you medialization then only uterine artery will be visible so here you will go these are just the oozing just you will touch it and this is the see the peristalsis here so this is the peristalsis and what is this external iliac vein what is this ureter what is this external iliac artery and as soon as 2 3 cm you will go you will see as soon as you will do the medialization of ureter a oh, little bit enlarge the latjo space then below you will see the internal iliac vein internal iliac artery first artery vein is below so we can see here that this is the internal iliac artery this is ureter and here is the uterine so we are what we are doing medializing the ureter and enlarging the latjo space so, pardon do you know if you are doing a, any time the myomectomy or any time radical hysterectomy you must have to coagulate the uterine artery near origin remember 
coagulating the uterine because you have to take parametrium and you have to open broad ligament am I right. Remember isolating the uterine artery near the insertion is very difficult because at that place it is like a leech and it is bundled with the vein it is not a single artery it is a vascular bundle and near the origin it is easy because it is a straight it is not like a leech and it is thinner uterine artery is the only artery which is thin near the origin and thick near the insertion. Why God is making like a leech near the insertion because once the uterus will become gravid and enlarge it should straighten. So, sandwich in between the artery and vein artery will go anterior to ureter vein go posterior to and that will be more difficult to coagulate there here it is easy. So, this is lateral space and here this is the uterine artery uterine artery is the only structure which crosses at right angle to the lateral space. So, here you will do medialization I am sorry I was confused with the right and left. So, always do that we have to do medialize means oka biasi space you should not injure. If you will injure in the oka biasi space hypogastric nerve will be damaged. In hysterectomy, we lateralize the ureter near the insertion. So, more distally, but here we are very much proximal. So, now here is the uterine artery and this is the internal iliac and this is the only structure which is crosses. There is no any structure which is crossing the lateral space and here you can see this is the external iliac artery, external iliac vein, internal iliac, ureter and uterine and above the uterine this area is called what? Paravesicle and below the uterine this is pararectal and pararectal also in two part this is called what? Latjo and this is called what? Okabayasi. So, I hope that this is now extremely clear we should we sh yes. External iliac vein if it is injured the problem is that it will not spurt and it is more difficult to suture. So, what you have to do first thing what you do immediately convert open you should not do laparoscopically because laparoscopically problem is that pressure will not allow the vein to bleed much. After that you need bulldog clamp, bulldog clamp is apply on the common iliac and then you have to do a mental graft and then suturing a piece of momentum has to put and then suture. You, the external iliac artery you can directly take a bite. I will demonstrate you how to suture it. Unfortunately, touch wood I have not till today I have damaged the external <laughs> iliac wear so I did not try and do not let me try also, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, it can be used most of the time. So, coming to the spaces our spaces. So, this is which space? Latjo, which is lateral and this is Okabayasi. So, what we will do how to how to get the uterine artery medialization of ureter and enlarging the latjo space. This is by the way it is left side. Yabuki space boundary is medially ureter laterally deep uterine vein superiorly uterine artery and inferiorly inferior hypogastric plexus. Why these are called spaces? Because these are this is the yabuki space here. Below is the uterine artery and here is the inferior uterine vein and this space. This space is also very important during the uterine ligation. So, what we do we enlarge this space and we lateralize it and then we go to this area this is yabuki space here yabuki space it is in between the bladder and the cervix here what you can see this space is what para vesicle this space is what para rectal this space is what latjo and this is okabayasi. So, these are very easy these are not difficult, but of course, we have to keep in mind and we should not forget it during the surgery and try to prevent the injury. So, let us see now again the importance of these spaces. So, if we see here that this is the medial space 
what is the importance of space of radius or retropubic birth suspension paravaginal repair bladder mobilization and mesh removal mesh removal in the which surgery in cases of cystocil in cystocil or in cases of you know supra pubic hernia surgeons they mobilize the bladder and they put the mesh retropubic retropubic like suppose you did the cesarean section and during cesarean section you have not sutured the properly the muscles then supra pubic hernia develops now the surgeon if he will put a mesh with the mesh he cannot cover the bladder am i right mesh cannot cover the bladder because if bladder will be covered by the mesh how the urine will collect so you have to make the mobilization of bladder and we have to enter into a space of radius so that is either mesh removal you will use now vesco uterine cystocil mesh repair total hysterectomy radical hysterectomy vesco vaginal fistula bladder endometriosis vaginal cuff resection sacrocolpopexy or hysterectomy this i will discuss later abdominal circlage and scar ectopic means almost all the gynae surgery where bladder and uterus has to be separated you will go to vesco uterine now recto vaginal again sacrocolpopexy especially if it is a rectal prolapse rectocil die rectosigmoid vaginal endometriotic nodule dissection and bowel resection bowel resection by the surgeon for the rectal resection now retro rectal that is pre sacral your main surgery is pre sacral nerectomy but endometriosis is also sacrocolpopexy also and paraaortic lymphadenectomy also lateral spaces these are medial spaces lateral spaces pelvic lymphadenectomy radical hysterectomy excision of ureteric endometriosis that is during the ureteric tunnel dissection which i will discuss during diploma period radical hysterectomy this is very important after that ureteric reimplantation suppose you have injured the ureter bowel resection of die and excision of endometriotic involvement of sacral nerve so these are called pelvic spaces which we should must keep in mind during the surgery